what are you watching right now? Yeah, it looks like we've watched some similar things. So current on shrinking, and I'm I almost feel like we haven't said enough about shrinking yet, which we don't need to say anymore. We will eventually do an episode on shrinking. We just don't do really do episodes until the season's over. But it's just been so, so enjoyable. Well, that's one of the few shows that we it ha- nothing had aired yet, and we were like, we're doing a season, we're doing an episode yes. on that. Yeah. So we knew before the first episode aired that it was going to be good and that <laughs> and yeah. that it was going to be something that we were going to like just kind of based on the creators. I don't know. Yeah. And maybe some of the actors, yep. but um, it is excellent. It's getting a little bit of flack. Did you know about any of that? No. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. This is the forum tragedy, yeah, tragedy, um, just kind of the, the way they're dealing with uh, the, the therapist and because um, it's, he's being unprofessional. Well, it, I don't know how much I want to say, but like the idea that, oh, he's found the silver bullet to help these people and no other therapist before him has, you know, and like the, I don't think that's what they're saying. I don't think so either, okay. but it could come across that way, okay. you know, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Does that make sense at all? Anyway. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's yeah. easily my, one of my favorite watches of the week the funny um, the funny thing is i love jason siegel and he's like mm-hmm. my least favorite character on the show <laughs> there's, agreed there's so many good characters like there's a uh, couple characters that i've never a couple actors i've never seen before are are fantastic oh really but um the think. uh the one co-worker the neighbor i've i've not seen them before but oh. the neighbor's husband <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> so funny yeah the um, one co- gr- the one coworker, not Harrison Ford, she was on the Daily Show for a really long time. Oh, and okay. she was All I right. always thought she was a hilarious and well, she's a good huge in this. star. She's yeah, she's my one of my favorites for sure. And Harrison Ford Harrison Ford <sighs> is, is how nailing how did it, it take that long? Yeah. How did it take this <laughs> that man this long to do a television show? Nailing it, man. And I, I can't believe yeah, I can't believe he's just nailing it. And he's 80 and he, like, oh my gosh. Yeah. He's so good. Crazy. So freaking good. Okay. So anyway, we're going to do an episode on it, but yeah, I would say hop on that band, bandwagon as fast as you possibly can. Cause it's really, really good. I also, that's check- our, that's probably our top recommendation overall right now. Oh, sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, I did. I don't, I don't mean to steal this from you because it's on your list too, but I'll just say it. Cause I'm going right now. Uh, I checked yep. out because of you put up a poll, you put up sort of a poll on Instagram and asked people what they were watching. And I saw somebody posted that what they were watching was poker face. Yeah. My friend Adam. Okay. On, yeah. on uh peacock. And I think it's only Peacock, only available uh-huh. on Peacock. So that sort of stinks because you got to get Peacock just for that. But um, you can watch Premier League games if you do that. Anyway. Um, Hot take on that real quick. Yeah. This is, hold on, let me get my terms straight in my head. This is a procedural disguised yeah. as a uh, serial. Yep. Uh, you watch the first, you watch the first episode and you think this is going to be a right. season, season long story arc. Right. And season two hits season three. And you're like, this is a procedural. Yep. It's it, I, I don't know. That's just not my first, like, I'm not, I'm not like hot to jump in on a proce- a new yeah. procedural. Yeah. I get that. Anyway. Well, I like so the, I, I like I, the sort of, it's not actually, I wouldn't even say it's a fresh take on a procedural. It's just like, it's, it, I don't know. It kind of is. It is. It feels very fresh, but it also is sort of like old procedurals, like going back, you know, a little ways, but yeah, his, actually his other recommendation or his other, uh, what I'm, uh, what he's watching right now is Columbo. And yeah, I was gonna say he, I was gonna say it's sort of like Columbo. He was saying the formula is very similar. Yes, the formula is very similar there. So yeah, totally. I thought that was very interesting. Sorry, yeah, but I, you're, I, well, it's all right because you're watching. You watched it too, but I, yeah, I've really enjoyed it so far. I think it's it's uh, it's very enjoyable and lots of interesting characters. Lot and um, yeah, yeah. Um, and then I also finally checked out. Um, probably I'll do a quick hit on it, but I just I finally checked out Abbott Elementary and I, I think I've made jokes on here before about how like every time I see an Ab- Abbott Elementary commercial, it's like the top network show of 2022. 
I agree. I it's agree. getting all the buzz. I agree. All- it is. It is uh, the reason I checked it out was because it was on the lists, and I'm trying to make my way through the 2022 best whatever of 2022 lists. And um, I agree, it is the best. Like n- now, it's a network sitcom. It's an. It is a network sitcom, and I don't generally. I, you hate them more than I do, but I don't generally like network sitcoms anyway. But it's got to be the best network sitcom on right now, I think. Uh, and it's it's ve- it is very modern. It it's it takes a little bit from everybody. It takes a little bit from the office. There's a lot of like looking over to the camera, and, you know, whatever. Not saying anything, but looking over to the camera. There's or, the interviews too, right? Um, yes, there are the interviews. I don't know. I have seen a little. I've you seen know, a little bit of it. Why am why am I interview blind? I, like I had this problem. I with, don't know. That's real funny though. Uh, but I, with I, Parks and Rec, yeah, you said the same. I thing. I don't feel great saying there are interviews, but yeah, I think you're probably right. There are interviews, but um, yeah. So it, it's it's definitely got some chuckle moments. It's got some really heartfelt moments with, and it's dealing with a subject. It's basically dealing with an inner city Philadelphia school, and like you said to me when you text me, it's. I've, it teachers will love it. If you're a teacher, yep. you will love yes. this show. It kind of catches your, it not only will make you laugh about certain things about teaching, but I think it sort of catches your passion. Like, um, it, it'll, it'll, plus it, it'll pull on your heartstrings more than anyone else for sure. Pull on your heartstrings plus puts its shoulder into some of those like laugh out loud or like, yes. Oh my gosh, that happens all the time type moments. You know, and being those. righteously indignant about, you yeah. know, whatever system that's keeping you down and your passion for teaching. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, uh, and my favorite, my favorite thing about it is it's created by and starring Quinta Brunson, which is like my favorite. I a little embarrassing to admit this, but I will walk around the house saying her name in different ways. Cause I think it's such an interesting, <laughs> <laughs> such an interesting name to say. Say it again. <laughs> no, I'm going to mess like it, but, uh, so, I, I'll, so, <laughs> I don't want to now cause, but, but I'll just walk around. Quinta Brunson, Quinta Brunson. Like do people, Quinta Brunson. Do, and does I'll, Leah hear you saying that? No, no, no. I don't do that kind of stuff. In front oh, of just me. when you're by yourself. Uh, but I'll, you know, I'll just roll it around the tongue. Just kind of, I just <laughs> think it, I think it's a nice name. And then how I many did, seasons and what is it on? You probably said already. It's on ABC. Oh, except I watch it on Hulu. So it's on Hulu. Yeah, then? I watch Hulu. Um, but it's on, yeah, ABC. How many seasons? Two, or two three? now. Yep. Second season is out now. We doing an episode on that? I don't think we need to, honestly. There's not, okay. there's not All enough right. about the show probably at this point to do an episode. Does it feel we'll familiar? See. Yeah. I mean, it, it feels like modern family for sure with a different subject matter. Um, and so it feels very familiar, but, uh, and then I didn't know if you had any thoughts about the Super Bowl, uh, just cause it was last night for us, even though this will, but you know, Super Bowl's TV. So I feel like we should briefly. You literally have halftime show. (laughs) I know. Sorry. Well, we talked about the halftime show last year, I guess Uh, we did really quick. I'm sick of the refs tossing games to Kansas city. Number one, number two, Rihanna. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Because I've heard a lot. I don't, I mean, obviously the Bengals, this is Bengals against the Bengals. The Bengals call was worse. Oh, Oh, okay. But this call was like, come on, you're going to decide the game on a ref call. Like, no, but anyway, um, that's about the game. And then, uh, the halftime show, I'm just going to defend Rihanna and say, I thought she did a great job. I thought it was fine, but some certain people are. I've seen a lot of about it. Okay. Yeah. I've seen a lot of that. Well, but it's the same thing. I didn't, they say I didn't watch year. it. So I don't, I don't know. Okay. Okay. I'm a, I'm sort of a Rihanna fan. That's fine. Okay, I, my, fine. Both I, my daughters are like insane. They both wanted to stay up and watch it. And Leah and I were just like looking at each other, like laughing about how like it was pretty inappropriate, but they, they yeah, don't okay. even know. They just like the music. But anyway, Rihanna, like the, the post coming, like from probably mostly Christians afterwards who were like, I can't believe they put this junk on TV and blah, blah, blah. What did you think was going to happen when Rihanna was the halftime show? She does. The, and she's like messing with you. Don't let her mess with you. Don't get upset about Rihanna. She's going to mess with you. Don't let her mess with you. You don't like that? I don't know. Shut it off for a while. Don't just watch TV in order to get mad and, and just sit to stew on it for day. Like, no. What did you think was going to happen when we have like, you heard tell, her songs? Tell us how you really feel. What, yeah. Anyway, this is not worth getting worked <laughs> up about. Uh, and I also, I, I did read a little bit of that. I didn't see any, I, 
that was the easiest decision I made all weekend, not to watch the Super Bowl. So, I, well, I will say I might be done with football. I might be done with football. Do you even watch college football at all? I, I watch it. Uh, I've watched it less and less and less and less. And then obviously the Browns signed a sleazeball quarterback. So I didn't watch hardly any Browns games. The Browns are my okay. team. I didn't watch hardly any Browns games. Didn't watch that much football, but then it's Super Bowl. You go to a Super Bowl party, but I'm just like, ah, my, why am I watching this? I, well, I feel the like the slowest now, sport in the world. It's terrible. I feel like now, I feel like now that you're Mr. MLS and yeah. kind of, um, EPL and yeah. all the other, uh, that is a, I mean, that could take all of your time alone. Yeah, I'm happy. Throw baseball in there. Uh, and yeah, I'm watching. Like, I'm not. What done, else I'm, do you need at that point? Yeah, golf. I'm back on golf. Back on. I'm watching all sorts of stuff. What do I need? Watching football golf. For? I, yeah, I love golf. Oh, okay. I always thought like Quinta Brunson was, was kind of like watching <laughs> fishing or something. I don't know. Quinta Brunson. I'm not even fishing. I'm watching fishing. You. <laughs> oh. I stole that joke from somebody, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Someone will know that I did, and they'll come at me. Okay. All right. What are you, um, sorry. I'm, yeah. I, I have a question real quick. We're, I know we're dragging on here a little bit, but I, I have a question. Have you heard anything about, um, I stumbled, uh, stumbled across this American auto. Um, the only reason I ask is because just heard. Humphrey, Humphrey it. Kerr is in it. Mm -hmm. What did you say? I've just heard about it. That's it. Just heard yeah. about it. Well, I heard it had some problems. I, it's not, I only watched an episode. It wasn't getting mm. good. Well, now that I'm looking at it, it's got, a great rotten tomato score. Um, I had just seen some articles that were kind of hitting it a little bit, but Humphrey's in it mm -hmm. from yeah, right. Wrexham and yep. from all the other, what always sunny and everything else. Right. Um, anyway, I didn't know if that was on your radar or at all. That's on Peacock. <clears throat> no, I think uh, I've right only, now. Yeah. I think I've heard about it because of Humphrey, but that's it. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. Current on shrinking current on last of us. I'm just going to keep laying that out there. Because that's in your future, man. I'm going to hop on it's in your it future. sometime soon. Yeah. It's just getting uh, old, husband. Current on mayor of Kingstown. I'm, but I feel like you're forcing that one out of my system, which is fine because mm -hmm. it feels like it's ready to be ready to be I'd forced. Probably, I'd probably check this out. And at some point I'll get CBS for a little bit and catch up on 1923 and Tulsa King and mayor of Kingstown, but I just don't have it right now. So I'm not, I'm yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um, the last thing, and this isn't really in our lane, but have you ever seen the movie Heat? Yeah. It's on Hulu. It's on Hulu right now. I had never seen that before in my life. I watched it last night. Oh my gosh. It's rough. Uh, it's real rough. Yeah. It's so, so good. I mean, um, there is also this iconic shootout, and I think it's in downtown LA. And I've even heard that parts of the scene are used as like training videos for police. Hmm. It's supposed to be really realistic. And um, Val Kilmer, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. It was so great. I loved it. Um, yeah. It's anyway, good movie, anyway, yeah. not really our cup OT on this podcast, but that's on Hulu right now. If you're so inclined. Nice. Anyway, that's it. That's me. Awesome. All right, good episode. Yeah, it was good. All, all the ones we think are going to be shorter are always the longest. <laughs> I think there's some there's some fluff in there. That does it for this episode of Good Show. Good Show is created, recorded, edited, and produced by Anthony Mako and Brandon Sharp. Our theme music was written and recorded by me, Anthony, and all our graphics and socials are developed by Brandon. If you've enjoyed your time with us, please make sure to like or follow us on your favorite podcast platform so you never miss an episode. And if you appreciate our show, please throw us a rating and a review there too. If you'd like to discuss any of our content, you can search The Good Show Facebook group or follow us on Instagram at The Good Show Podcast. Thanks again for listening and we'll see you next time.